Jesus wished Judas to not born. He said, I wish that person who is betraying me. Wait, wait. He said, I wish Judas. He would not born b before today. I, I think he didn't say I wish. I think he would wish he wasn't born. It's a bit yes. different. No, right? I'm saying Ju Jesus yeah. wished Judas to be not. And if he said I, he, it would be better if he would not been born. What do you think? You know why? Okay, now. And he said woe to him. Parish on him, Judas Iscariot. So now you tell me if Judas, Jesus came to die for your sins including judas why would jesus wish bad for judas then yes yeah, can so, you answer that so question my, my response is not that he said okay. um that he wishes he says that he will wish and the reason for that is because judas will go for hell for eternity so why why would he go eternity why would he go for hell obviously obviously it's better to not be born than to be in, no, in eternity in no hell. you're not getting the point, but that's the point. my point my question is if jesus came to die for your sins yeah and jesus wished judas to be perished and he wished also it would be better if he were not born yet so my question to you yeah. why would judas go for to hell if jesus died for his sins because jesus because judas didn't accept him you know as what? lord and savior no no way he says no, that I, wait, if wait. you ask why the answer wait, wait. Is okay because, can you show me yeah. can you show me in the bible where it says judas did not accept jesus as a savior and lord well it doesn't say that he did it, it doesn't say that betrayed him. no it says he betrayed it, him. no betraying doesn't mean doesn't mean betraying doesn't mean judas does not believe jesus to be his lord and his and uh, his god but we know he betrayed him in the, was in Judas the was Judas a Christian or not? Um, no, he wouldn't have been. So he knew no, that he would betray where him. Where he says that in the Bible? He says that in, when they had the no lying answer. and betraying does not take you out of Christianity. So I want you to tell me a clear verse where in the Bible it says Judas Judas was not a Christian and he didn't believe Jesus as his Lord. Do you have any verse? So, so in the Bible, when it talks about you're just saying yes. Yeah, I'm trying to look okay. for it. Yeah. Okay, you show so, me where it says Judas Iscariot was not a Christian and he didn't believe Jesus as his Lord. Therefore, that's why Judas Judas is going to hell. Yeah. So, if you don't have that verse, I got many verses, but this is one of them. If we if we look um, in the, this is a first of all this is a prophecy. Interestingly enough, right? No, do you, no. We, I'm you getting, get it. I'm getting. So if you look, what did I ask you, you first? You asking me for proof? Prove what? Um, that Judas was never a Christian. Oh, no, was not a Christian, and he didn't believe Jesus as his Lord. That's why he's going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in uh, in Luke 22 it says that the, the feast of the living bread drew near, which is called Passover, and the chief priests and the scribes sought out they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered Judas, uh -huh. so name is Cariot, who was numbered among the twelve. So he went his way and conferred with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him to them, and they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he promised and sought the opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitude. So, so we know Where that. Where says that? So we know. Where does it say here? Judas, Judas Iscariot was not a Christian, but he didn't he believe Jesus as the Lord. He was never a Christian. But the Bible there's says. no Christian says that. Huh? There's no Christian here that agrees with you. Yeah. That Judas Iscariot was not a Christian. Well, it was there's no single verse in the Bible. So now this is one of my points proves that Jesus never came to die for your sins. No, come on, it doesn't, that doesn't prove anything. Okay, another one. I got another one. Can I just read you one thing, please, okay. before we move on very quickly, right? Okay. Just very quickly. Okay. The thing is, do you know that this was prophesied? That it was prophesied that Judah will, will sell him for... No, I, I, I'm not talking about whether Jesus important. was prophet. No, I'm not this talking about Jesus was prophet, uh, Judas was prophesied that he's going to betray Jesus. I'm not talking about that. My point is to prove Jesus never died for your sins. Otherwise, you, uh, Judas Iscariot would, wouldn't go to hell for betraying Jesus, and Jesus wouldn't wish for him, if it, and he wouldn't say, 
I wish on Judas, mm -hmm. upon but Judas. The, the thing is, I wish he w it would be better if he were not born no, yet. No, he doesn't say I wish that. It says that he would wish he that it would be better. No, you would, it would so be better. That I, means you wish. So if I, no, no, no. If I, if I said to you, right, uh -huh. you're going to hell, right, uh -huh. it, I, you would wish that it would be better for you not to be born and to go to hell. That, that makes complete sense, right? You're not getting the point. So you're not getting the point no, either. No, I'm saying... Jesus wished all that because of it, Judas betrayed him. You understand? So if Jesus come, came to die for your sins, including Judas, why the sins of Judas was not forgiven? Right. The point is that um, the point is that this was prophesied. If we look at Zechariah uh, in verse 12, um, it talks about how Judas will betray him. This happened thousands of years before. So Jesus knew that this was going to happen. Um, so um, it says. Um, so it was broken on the day that the poor of the flock were watching me knew that it was the word of the Lord which you know is Jesus and I said to them it is agreeable to give you give me my wage and if not refrain so they waited out for my wages 30 pieces of silver this is not, it's not proving whether Judas was the sister here Amy is saying Judas the person who betrayed Jesus was not a Christian and he didn't believe in Jesus do you yeah. agree with that? But it, you know the, the thing. By is, betraying, does that prove you disbelief to Jesus? So the, the point that I'm going to try to make is that in the Bible it says that. Do you know Judas Iscariot is one of the disciples of Jesus? So how can you tell me a disciple of Jesus was not a follower of Jesus? That contradicts contradicts your belief. That contradicts your beliefs and your argument, no, which happens. is Judas Iscariot is one of the disciples of Jesus. So therefore, Judas Iscariot, you cannot tell me Judas Iscariot was right. not a Christian. Where, where can I find Judas that? Judas Iscariot is a Christian. No, Otherwise, Christian. Christians should take him out and remove him out from being one of the disciples of Jesus. Yeah, but and another verse. Okay, now until now you're not showing me no, a clear cut. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Give me a moment. Yeah. I'm not here. So, uh, so yeah. yeah. All the people of Muhammad. Yeah. That followed Muhammad. Yeah. Never turned their back on Islam. Yeah. Yeah. What are you saying? Until now, Christians believe. No, I'm saying. Say again. All the people that followed Muhammad. Yeah. From the beginning, yeah, none of them turned their backs on, on Muhammad. No? Some of them done exactly. So, no. But no, my point is now until now, when you find out, Google it and ask Christian scholars and pastors and priests. You, if you ask them, the disciples of Jesus, they include Judas. Right? Can I read you the verse? Because the point is, in Christianity, we believe it is that you're born again. So if we look at the first of this John, it talks about whoever abides in him does not sin whoever sins has either seen him nor has neither seen him nor know him little children let no one deceive you he who practices righteousness is righteous just as he righteous he who sins is of the devil for the devil has sinned from the beginning for this purpose the son of god was manifested and my mother's for the works of the devil i'm nearly done whoever has been born of god does not sin for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of god so basically judas was never born again so he was never not a getting, no he's a Christian. He agrees with me. No, he is he, he's a Christian. There's no verse, no, clear verse. Now you're telling me, no, Jesus saying that he would not be born. He would not born yet. He said because of betraying him. It's not about saying he's not a Christian. He was a disbeliever. Judas was a believer. He was one of the disciples of Jesus. Now let me come to another point. That one you never answered. Nowhere it says Judas, no Christian or scholars, pastors would agree with you that Judas Iscariot was not a Christian. Does the Bible okay. say you let have me come to, be to born another again? point? Does it, does it okay. answer my question, please? Does the Bible me, say you have to be born again? Let me come to another point. Are you going to answer my question before say you again. move to your point? Okay. Does the Bible say that you have to be born again? By according to context, what is the context? So the context says um, that um, that you have to be born again in order to go to he to heaven. Yeah. So it says that has um, got nothing to do no, with Judas. No, it has everything to do with Judas because that applies to all people. So if we look at the Gospel of Those, John, from let me give you the context. Says, I'll give you the context of that verse. So most assuredly, I said to you, unless one is born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So it is clear that Judas, that Judas was never born again. Let me give you the verse, the context of this verse. Okay. The context of this verse, even the priests and Christians, pastors, 
the context of this verse are the ones who dis- did not believe the Christ yet. Like, like Muslims, you believe we don't believe Christ, uh, Christ or Judaism, or a, a person who practice, practices Judaism. This verse, the context is anyone who did not believe in Jesus yet. Judas Iscariot believed in Jesus. For betraying Jesus does not make him to be out of Christianity. No, it, no, 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 stay there. Carry on reading. Uh, now, this verse, we know this verse, Christians, all of them are saying, they say this verse, they quote this verse to the disbelievers. Judas was not a disbeliever. Show me a clear cut verse where it says Judas was a disbeliever. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense Judas Iscariot was one of the disciples of Jesus. Now, let, me go, let me go to another, another, another verse again. Let me finish. Yeah. Don't be deceived by Islam. It says, Islam, Nicodemus is a deceiver. Jesus. Can we take him? Muhammad is a deceiver. Okay. It's a deceiver. Okay. Nicodemus is a deceiver. Nicodemus is a deceiver. So you need Nicodemus. Okay, I'll give you another verse. No, let me finish. No, I need to come. No, I'm proving my points. Jesus never died for this. Let me just make one point and okay. then you carry on. Okay, you finish then I'll carry on. Nicodemus said, how can a man yeah. be born again when he's old? Can he enter his mother's womb when he's yeah. old? And then Jesus says, very, very, I say unto you, unless one is born of the Spirit uh-huh. and of the water, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And we know the spirit baptism came on the day of Pentecost and Judas wasn't there. So Judas did not experience this born again experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit. So yeah, that man. Now, yeah, man. Judas, well. Judas yeah. is one oh, of the agree. disciples of Jesus. But I, I agree. No, the no. thing is, yeah. we okay. all Christians no, no. agree no, with this no, interpretation. No, 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 agree. No, I'm saying. Did you understand? No, no. Of course, no. I understand. Priests, no. and pastors, is, no. you no. priests and pastors. You have to be born again. No, you Christians and pastors and priests disagree with you. They believe. Now, if you search up the Google, search up on the Google now, ask the disciples of Jesus, you would find out the first one. You would find out one of them is Judas Iscariot. So you cannot tell me a disciple of Jesus is not a Christian. Double standard doesn't make sense, that logic. No, okay, I'm gonna read another you, verse. I'm going to read you a no, controversial please. verse. No, to another my verse. Point. If you okay, look at then I'll move 14, on. Yeah, that's fine. If you look at Luke 14, uh-huh. Jesus says to me, Jesus says, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. So the point is that you, and in the revelation it tells you that if you're lukewarm, he will vomit you out of his mouth. So the point is that Jesus demands total devotion and total commitment. If not, if you're half-hearted, he will vomit you. He will put you in hell. So in that case, it's better that you're not born at all than to end up in this hell. This has got nothing to do with Jesus. It has everything to do with Jesus. This is what many Muslims word. quote uh-huh. in uh, Matthew 7, 21. Yeah. Muslims always quote this. It says, not everyone that says unto no, me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay, would you come, please? Yeah. Just saying, this is what Muslims quote. Uh-huh. So you know that just because you even say Jesus is Lord, yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be part of the kingdom of God. And so we know Judas was a work of a... For you, you believe Jesus is not God anyways. That verse, you cannot use it for me. I'm sorry. You can't use that verse for me. You can use that verse to her, not me. Okay. So now another verse again. I'm giving you another verse. All right. If Jesus died for your sins, that means including every sin, everything. Every time you commit a sin, because of Jesus, your sins are forgiven. It's clear. So now I'm giving you another verse. If you go to Matthew, I mean, yeah, Matthew chapter 12, verse 32, it says, whoever sinned against the Holy Spirit, his sins shall not be forgiven yeah. for et- eternity. Yeah. But if you sin against the Son, your sins are forgiven. Yeah. Again, Mark chapter 3, verse 29, verse 29 to 30, it says the same. Yeah, because it's so now I'm asking, if Jesus died for your sins, and you sin against the Holy Spirit, 
and your sins are not forgiven for eternity, what Jesus died for them. So he died some specific sin or all sins? I, I tell you what that means. Basically, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God that comes and dwells in believers. No, right? And no. we become the temple of God. And those who blaspheme against the Holy Spirit are those who don't accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So when you die, you have blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. You yourself, you have the offer now to receive the Holy Spirit, but you reject it, so you will go to hell. I will never blaspheme the against the Holy Spirit. You're not getting it. I'm not saying not you will never. Either. Do you agree no, no, with me or no. not? Do yeah. you agree with no. me? Oh, yeah. No, look, I'm look, not saying even, you will. Even, even the Quran says, even the Quran says that okay. Allah will not forgive the sin of those who worship idol, those who worship other than Allah. So look, when Muhammad worshiped Lat, Manat, and Uzat, now he's gone out how of context. Muhammad will be forgiven. He's gone out of How context. Muhammad will he's be forgiven? Context. When Quran clearly and, says, and whoever worships other than Allah and will, will not be now. forgiven. Would you answer, how would you answer Allah my is forgiving would Muhammad? Please, oh, Muhammad and Allah and Al -Uzza. Can you Unless answer me? Go first. Can go you search answer up the me? whole Quran, the entire Quran, Muhammad and even find out where Prophet Muhammad worship Allah and Al -Uzza. Al -Uzza. No verse in the Quran. Me? No verse in the Quran. Can you answer Adi. me? No verse in the Quran. Please. Quran. Oh. Saying something else, please. Surah 53, verse. Verse what? Verse 19, 20, and 21. Do you know who is speaking? Muhammad worship Lat Munad. When it says that, go read. Ozad. Go read. Ozad. There's no way it says that. Sahih please Bukhari. Okay, says so listen. Clearly. Okay, Amy. You don't. Okay, please. Sahih Bukhari, Bukhari okay. says clearly Amy. that Muhammad you don't ask him. and his no, have to be No, no, no. No, 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 he's just talking, he's not awesome. I know him. How Muhammad is so now, forgiven that? Now I'm asking, if the, Jesus died for your sins, yeah. if Jesus died for yeah. all your sins, yeah. how come when you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven? Because doesn't make that, sense. No, if Jesus make died sense. for your but sins, that means he died all your sins, which sense. means if you sin, all your sins are forgiven. But here in the Bible, it tells us if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven. Therefore, yeah. Jesus died for nothing. Otherwise, if Jesus could die for your sins, everything, including every single sin, that means if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins should be forgiven. No, but because, it's not forgiven. No, because, because so do you have any the Holy Spirit is, is that you don't accept but the Holy you believe, Spirit and, but you uh, believe. and you, if you die without the Holy Spirit you will go to hell. You need the Holy Spirit to but enter you the kingdom no, of you God. No, you said if you say against if you sin against the Holy Spirit your sins will be forgiven. But if you sin against the Son, Jesus, your sins are forgiven. What? What is that? It doesn't make you, what you're saying, it, say, it says, or if you sin against the Holy Spirit, that means you, you're not a Christian. So, but if you sin, a Jesus, if you sin Jesus, and against Jesus, insult Jesus, your sins are forgiven. I'm gonna, I'm that gonna means Jesus is not God according I'm to you then. I'm going to put it in context. No, but no, no, we, what's the context? It's, it's because the, throughout the history, context? people have to be born again, and I'll show it to you now. In a minute, if we go into Ezekiel, it tells you that even. So let me show you very. I got another verse again. Romans 2 6. Paul himself said, Everyone of you will be judged according to his deeds. Right. Let, let so me, Jesus let, died for nothing. Let me get one if verse. God is judging you according to your deeds, Jesus died for let nothing. Me, let me get Romans one verse. chapter look, 2, verse okay. 6. I look at it in a minute, right? In here, if you look at Ezekiel, which is the Old Testament, in, a, in 36, from verse 26 to 27, it says, I, God, will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of, uh, give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my job just to them. And if we look in, in, in the New Testament, it repeats the same thing. In Galatians 6, 5, it tells you that, you know, you are a new creation, you need to be born again. So yes, if you don't accept the free gift of eternal life, you are blaspheming against the Holy Spirit and you will go to hell. Do you understand but if the you, point? But if you blaspheme against Jesus, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> what is that? And another because, verse again. Another verse. I'm moving again. Jesus yeah, died for nothing. Yeah, In the Bible it says, if you are not baptized, the Bible says if you are not baptized, you, see, uh, you are not baptized, 
you are condemned and you're no. not saved. Because it's the same thing, because when... If when Jesus God... died for your sins, why do you need to get baptized then? No, you don't have to. Why, don't have in to order God to forgive before. your sins, why, you in order, to. why in order God to forgive your sins, you need to get to no, be baptized? No, you don't have to be baptized with this why is that? before the teeth no. on the cross. He it was says born that. again. Mark, he was crucified no. and he was born again. It he says, didn't get Mark baptized. 16, he didn't do anything. 16, it says... Anyone who does not, who anyone who is not baptized is condemned yeah. and is not saved. Which one? Let and me, is, let is me not, have a look. Is not saved. So if you, Jesus died for your sins and you're not baptized, that means Jesus died for nothing. No. Otherwise you're not saved no, and you are okay. condemned. No, let's, let's see what, what, what the Bible says about this. You so this guy picture. is sitting in the glass. Glass room and throwing stone on other. Whereas, whereas his room is a glass room. Kalima, Kalima. So look here. Kalima. La, ekim al. La al. La al. Gum kidama. Gum kidama. Ekim al. Cannot be forgiven. Cannot go to heaven. So now, I give many verses. There's nowhere no, proof no, no, Jesus died no, for their sins. Another no, verse again. Okay. Okay. What can you speak? Let me answer so, basically. Cannot go to heaven. He, he, he. So cannot go to heaven. She's giving me a Quran says. She's giving respect to So Muhammad worships idol. He's just talking. Don't worship idol. Don't touch me. I told you not to touch me. So now give me the verse. I give you many verses which indicates after Jesus died for your sins, you believed all that. No. In judgment day, you will be judged according to your deeds. Romans no, chapter no, no, 2 no. verse let's, 6. Let's focus on this one because now okay. my, my response is that water baptism does not save you. The teeth on the cross does not you. baptize Mark 16, you. 16, 16. Okay, let's have a Go look. to Mark 16, 16. Baptism, which it's is not spiritual. It doesn't say it spiritual. Wait, it, it says oh, that. Yeah. Wait, it says that spiritual. Show me. In the verse, wait, it says spiritual. If it's spiritual, why then Jesus was baptized for in water? To show you. That's not spiritual. To show you. No, it's to show me. To show you. Jesus is, is in order. Right, I will read it to you. I will read it to you. If you look in John, if you look in John, um, from verse um, one, John, it says, um, John chapter one, verse thirty-three, it says. I did not know him, but he was like to baptize with water, which is what the Baptist said to me. Speaking, Upon whom is the Spirit descending and remaining on him, that is he who baptized it with the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the Holy Spirit, the yes. Son of God. Well, and they get Excellent. into the okay. okay. same born again. Yeah, you need the Holy Excellent Spirit point. to enter heaven. Excellent I'm asking point. now, yes. if, the, if the Bible says and explains the word baptism, she says it's spiritual. If yeah. that is the case, then why would Jesus was said. baptized in water? Yes. Why not in his spiritual? Yes. Because yes. Show me in the Bible yes. where Jesus was yes. baptized spiritual. Yes. No single verse. Yes. No yes. single yes. verse. No, there is, there is Show me where Jesus was yes. baptized yes. spiritual. Yes. Show me in the Bible. Yes. So when Show me. Jesus says... Where? 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 Well, Show I'm me. looking for it. Show me where Jesus was baptized spiritual. Why in water when? then? Oh. Clear verse, Mark 16, 16, if you are not baptized. came to Jesus. That's why the spirit in a dove form came to Jesus. Yeah, so Jesus yeah. Was, yeah that's yeah. when he was... Uh, yeah. Teach him, stay away, stay, stay away, stay away. No, 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 he eat up. Stay away. Stay away. Okay. So show me, I want her to show me where Jesus was so, baptized spiritual, so spirit why Jesus was baptized Jesus. in water. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She, there no, are no, no, no evidence. No, the spirit of, so when, Jesus, when Jesus was baptized, there where was he baptized? No, where was he baptized? In the, in the water. In the water. So yeah. baptism, according yeah. to the Bible, is in the water. No, there so is the Bible and says, and if you are not baptized in water, as same as Jesus, the way 
way he was baptized, you are condemned and you're not you, saved. You and the reason born, you get baptism, you the, spirit, the reason you water. get baptism, according to Bible chapter uh, and chap, uh, the Gospel of Luke chapter three verse three, is. God to forgive your sins. That's why John went to Galilee or whatever, Jordan, uh, and preaching, preaching about the baptism and saying, baptism is, you get baptized, because you get baptized in order God to forgive your baptism and your sins. You need to get baptism. Without baptism, your sins are not forgiven according to the Gospel of Luke chapter 3 verse 3. So if Jesus died for your sins, why you get? Why do you get, take an account in judgment day? A sinless person cannot be judged. Can anyone judge me if I'm sinless? No one. Why in judgment day Christians are getting judged by God according to their deeds? Paul himself said that. Chapter Romans, Romans, chapter two, verse six. Again, Matthew, chapter and sixteen, verse twenty-eight. <laughs> Jesus exactly it says the Son of Man will come to judge everyone when he comes back according to their si right. sins, yeah. according to right. their deeds. Right. So right. Jesus died for this yeah. for nothing, for nothing. So, See, yeah. and Jesus will come to judge. To please, Jesus will come to judge to please God, not to please Himself. That's why in the Bible it says, John chapter five verse thirty, Jesus said, "I can my own my myself by myself. I can do nothing. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is to please." God, the one who sent me, yeah. not to please That's myself. Yeah. Right. So Jesus is same as like what other everyone else. That's we right. here, we are here to please God. Jesus is same. God. He's here to please God. Right. That proves. That proves. Thank you very much. Yeah. So anything so I, else? I will respond to And you. Jesus is not going to judge people in Judgment Day. Christians are confused. No, no, According to, to Islam, Jesus no, will to come to this God. life and judge people justly. According to Islam, is going to use Islamic law. No, that's not And true. Jesus, Jesus no, will law. judge people to Islamic please God, says, not to please Himself. In the in Quran, there is nowhere in the Hadith and in the Quran where it no. says when Jesus when Jesus will judge people oh, in Judgment Day. Judge Day, in day, in judgment day after this life, only Allah will judge people. All prophets judge in this world according to Islamic law and they according to please Allah. They wanted to please Allah. All prophets judged David and Moses. All of them judged according to the law of 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 all uh, 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 testament. Judge people according in, uh, in Islam law. Show me in the Quran. In Quran. Yeah, that because Jesus God was a Muslim. Says, yeah, but show me in the Quran. He says when he come back, he gonna judge people in Islamic law. It's not mentioned. In the Quran, it's there. No, no, show me. Which in the Quran it says, if a prophet, He's gonna come and I'm giving a verse, yes. are you listening? I'm giving I'm a verse. No, I'm giving a verse. If Give you don't know, you can ask me. Don't argue with nothing if you don't know. Relax. You go read chapter 3 where Allah said, if a prophet comes, and before, after him there's another prophet who appears to come, all prophets, including Jesus, they all agreed covenant, which is to believe every single prophet so that much. comes Jesus after them. Not Muhammad, you now? Yeah, not Allah. It's not in the follow of Muhammad. Only Jesus, Jesus as a follower of Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> yes, not in Islam. In Islam. Islam. Yeah. Now, not in Muhammad. Islam. What not Islamic Muhammad. law? The Sharia, you mean? Sharia, yes. Yeah, Jesus the the prophet in the Hadith told us, Prophet in the Hadith told us, he will, he comes back, he will destroy, he will destroy, break the cross. What cross is that? The Christian cross. Thank and he will kill the pigs. According to the Bible also, Jesus was a reason 2,000 pigs to die. If you go to Mark chapter 5, verse 12, 13, Jesus was taking a demon, a guy who was possessed by a demon, by a demon. The demons came out from the guy and they begged Jesus, the demon, to go to the pigs. And the demon, Jesus said, okay, fine, I will allow you to go to those pigs. And because of Jesus allowing the demons to go to the pigs, and the demons entered, possessed the, the pigs, and the pigs told for yeah, that two, that Jesus two is thousand. God. Wait, wait, wait. That proves that Jesus no, no, is God, no, no. because yes, only God yeah. can drive out demons. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. you can drive out demons.
wait, wait. In the name of Jesus. Wait, wait. Moses Amen. performed Amen. miracles. Amen. Amen. Who can who can split? Amen. Who can Amen. split the sea? Who can split the sea? If Jesus is God, who can wait? Wait, wait. If Jesus is God, Jesus is God. Who can split the sea? What Jesus did, also other prophets did. Moses done more miracles. He threw a stick, and the stick turned into snake. No, can because yeah. human do that. Because it was Christ, and then it and was Christ. Oh, it was no. Christ that did it. Jesus no, said, no, no, no. "By and myself." Say Jesus, Jesus said, yeah, yeah, "Jesus I said, say by myself I can do nothing." Even now I'm coming to the point. The Father cannot do nothing I'm coming to the point. Jesus. No, 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 no. Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Do it without Jesus. He wouldn't need Jesus to be crucified. Okay. He wouldn't need Jesus to save us. Let us speak. Let us speak. I'm not speaking to you, God. Now, all I'm saying now, I'm debunking what you said. Now, you said God cannot do anything without Jesus. Show me in the Bible. I'll show you. Stop on there. Stop on there. Show me in the Bible. I can show you where the God of Jesus can do everything. But Jesus Himself said, "I can do nothing by myself." But God can do everything. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so here. now I'm coming to the point. If Jesus died for your sins, why do you take an account in Judgment Day according to your deeds, according to Romans so chapter two, verse God six, according to Deuteronomy Abraham. chapter twenty-four, God verse, to verse Abraham. And verse 16, Abraham. according to Psalm Jesus. chapter 49, Jesus. verse 7, Jesus. according to Ezekiel chapter Ezekiel chapter 18, Jesus. verse 20, according to Jeremiah chapter 30, Jesus. verse 31. Why all those verses, even in the New Testament, is telling us everyone shall take an account in Judgment Day according to their deeds. If you are sinless, Jesus died for your sins. Why are you taking an account? Why will you get judged? Why will you get judged in judgment day according to your deeds? Nowhere. Okay, any Muslims, you're not answering until now. About the Bible and about the devil. He said only God cast out devil. Yeah. Jesus himself said I by the Spirit of God cast out devils. Yes. By the Spirit. By the No, no. Jesus. No. I just said that one. Do you have any answer? I have answer. I want you to answer my questions. I yeah. gave you many verses but in the Bible, in new, Old Testament, in New Testament. Giving me a chance no. to comment on them. Okay, I've you can talk. Until now, you never answered all of them. Because I'll give you a chance. Okay, answer. you speak now. So basically, in Christianity, if you're born again, you will go to the kingdom of God. However, there, there is there are different rewards. You can lose your rewards. You know? Why so, do you lose your reward? Because it's not it's the Bible. It tells you. No. Why do you lose your reward? Tell me. Well, if you, it's because of you, disbelief in Jesus or sinning. Uh, context. I want be, context. It could be, could, um, let's find the context when it says. You can um, find out the context. Until now, you never gave me a clear cut verse where it indicates Jesus died for you. So you're just telling me. I, even, uh, I, I will give it to you now. Okay. I you, will give it you to you believe Jesus now. died for everyone's sins or only for Christians? For those no, who no, are for all. For all? If oh, we, yes. Uh, for you all? Want me to for give John, you all? Chapter you 3, me? verse 16. What for God to love the world uh -huh. that He gave uh -huh. His begotten Son, yeah. who so who, no, no, who so who so uh -huh. ever believe on Him uh -huh. shall not perish but have so for all for, for all for all whole world by saying for whole world the whole world whole everyone world. everyone so even everyone. me he, including you so, so now if I can do everything I want if you now I can do everything Jesus, I want if you everything I want Jesus died for my sins. And the Bible I, I says, I will take my account. If you acknowledge that Jesus is your Savior, your Lord, Jesus your God, your Savior. then right, you will be the Savior of Jesus you is will God be the Father. God, you will the be Savior of Jesus, according to your Bible, the Savior of him. Jesus is God the Father. You will be accepted by Him. So I'm going to show you. you. To acknowledge that. I'm going to show you from the, from Jesus' mouth where He says that by the blood of Jesus, your sins. If you look in Matthew 26, from verses 28, when He was at the Last Supper, He He said, "For this is My blood of the new covenant." For, which is shed for many or for the remissions of sins. 
But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of life from now until the day when I drink it with you in my Father's kingdom. And that's it. But it tells you, for this is my blood. And you get to what I'm saying there. But it tells you, you know what I did. For this you know what I asked you. The new covenant which is shed for many of the remission Amen. of sins. You know why I ask you. No. No. You know why I ask you. You know what I said. You know why I ask you. I said if Jesus died for your sins as you believe. No, no, no. For you why, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven. But if you sin against the Son, no, against the Son, but you have to be. You don't have to be born again. Is that what you're telling me? So now, so now, Amy, now Amy is saying you can no insult the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, you have to be born again. But according to her, you can insult Jesus. Your sins should be, can be forgiven. No. You don't have to be born again according no, 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 to her. No, no. If because no. the Bible says, yeah. if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven. Because but if you sin against the Son, Jesus, your sins are forgiven. So therefore, Jesus died for us no. for nothing. No, no. Not all sins. Not all sins. None is a lie. I gave you many verses. So, Did you answer my question? I you already I'm asking. Why? Okay, okay. Can you answer this question? One, yeah. one question. Of plus, I'm finishing because you're not answering yet until I now. I'm asking. Uh, she is, she is I'm asking. answering you why? all the questions. Okay. But you don't like she I'm is asking. answering you in Matthew, all the why questions. Why do you take but, an account in judgment day? You are not if you're serious, the why do you take an account according to your deeds? There are different rewards. No. That's why? No. Why do you take an account according to your deeds? In judgment day, Revelation 1.5, and from Jesus Christ, who is faithful witness, the first one from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's all Amen. about the blood. No, Amen. you're not answering. Amen. It is all yes. about the blood. Yes. Until now. You I'm are sorry. going to be saved sister, by his blood. Since we are not going to be saved by his blood. That's why he blood. shed his blood for you. You're just giving your buzzers, but I'm telling you, if Jesus died for your sins, why, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven? Because why do you take an account? Why, ask, why, tell me, ask, why Jesus will ignore Christians in Judgment Day because of their evil because deeds? Because they're false Christians. Why, no, example, the Christians verse doesn't say false Christians. The agenda, they will have a big uh, judgment. So now, so now Jesus, again. according yeah, to her, yeah, according yeah. to her, Jesus never died for every sin. He did. But Jesus oh, died did. only did for certain things. So Jesus holy. never died for let LGBT. Me repeat again. Please let me repeat Please again. Please for God so okay. loved the world. Okay, wait. For God so loved the world. Okay. For God so loved the world. So now that I'm he asking. gave his begotten son. And I'm asking that now. Whosoever believes now I'm asking on again, him Amy. Last one I'm asking. But right. have ever loved Why will Jesus ignore Christians in judgment because of their evil deeds? Because they were if not Jesus born died again. For them, that's why. No, they are Christians. That's why it they was are Christians. Not Christians. Why Jesus is denying them? Because he will because say in judgment day, Matthew chapter seven, Christians. verse twenty-one to twenty-three, Jesus will say My to sister, them, "Get away Jesus from me, you over evil and over doers." Again, why? Right? If Jesus died for over their sins, again, why right? Jesus is ignoring them because of their sins? Why? Why your sins are not you forgiven? Are you tell me. Iniquities. You are answering. She believes Jesus died for her sins. Everything, every sin, but. LGBT, he never yeah. died for. Her. So, do you, do you believe Jesus died for all Christians, even including LGBT people? Um, he did, but you can't. Oh, but, but, but because you have to be you believe, holy, you have to be holy, oh, and that's why so Jesus died one for nothing. Then, she believes yes. Jesus did not because die for the LGBT. Because they don't have the Holy Spirit. In fact, so Jesus never that's died right, for the Holy and LGBT. What does the Bible and she say? Believes Jesus died for her well, sins, every sin, for all their sins. So now I'm ending the, the discussion here. Uh, to even, no even those thank people, you, Amy, anyways. Right, thank to you. even those people, I really appreciate. Okay.